I think that just having a dog kind of changes the atmosphere of the house. Kiko is a very people person dog. Oh. Kiko, sit. Very good. <laughs> No one tells you about the unglamorous side. He's fighting me. Look at this wet dog. Ah! Hi everyone, it's me, Sarah X Miracle, your miracle mom, and with me is me Ines. Yes. Who knocked me. Oh, and sorry. Keiko! Today Kiko. we have a very special guest, <laughs> our family dog, Why Keiko. You keep itching? So today we just wanted to talk to you about whether or not you should get a family dog. We know that many people have asked us about Keiko and so we thought we'd do a video about her. We're gonna share about why we wanted a dog, how we got the dog, and whether you should get a dog. Some back history, Ines, do you know that grandma is super scared of dogs? Yes. Do you remember yes. what happened previously with her? No. She would jump on the sofa every time she would see a dog. There was one Chinese New Year, my cousin was a little bit mean and purposely let out the dog so that she would see my mom jump on the chair. However, Grandpa... He adores dogs. He loves them so much. When they got married, my mom was essentially, it's the dog or me. Obviously, my dad chose my mom. If not, I wouldn't be in existence. But my dad has always loved dogs. He's always wanted a dog. Somehow, when Inez was five, we were all still living with my parents. My brother convinced my mom and my dad that they should get a husky. How did having a dog in the house change your life, Inez? It felt that I kind of had a dog because Home. And I'm watching TV, she'll be on the floor and I'll be like, hey, sh look, look, look. Sometimes I would convince the maids to play catching with me. I actually get excited and then she'll try to join in. When Leon was about two, he loved all the dogs in the neighborhood. He was like, dog, dog. I wanted to give my kids an experience to actually have a dog when they were young. Not until like me like that, right? So old then I try and get a dog and I never have the experience of growing up with a dog. Maybe the dog would have a bit of a calming effect on Leon somehow. Oh. Kiko sit. Very good. You're calming her down, aren't you? Stand behind. Okay, and then she has to wait until you say come. Say Kiko come. Kiko, and then tell her to sit. Keiko, sit. Good. And then you pet her. Yes, good job. When we had a husky in our house previously, the husky was massively shedding. I'm talking about balls and balls of fur. Even though we try and close the doors, the balls and balls of fur were still accumulating in all the rooms. There'll be fur all over our clothes. So we wanted a hypoallergenic dog that was non-shedding. Keiko was one of those few breeds. We were also looking for a dog that would be quite sturdy. And in case the kids or like Leon at the time was a toddler, would we'll poke it, it wouldn't just fall down. But we didn't want something that was too big because we were in a small flat. The schnauzers were kind of like a medium-sized dog that we felt was like the right size for us. <laughs> Wrestle, pull! In Singapore, there aren't that many people who sell purebred schnauzers. So there was like a couple of Facebook groups. This particular mummy and the daddy, I guess he's quite handsome, but he was very aggressive. It's like peeing all over the place. But the mummy was very, very sweet and very calm. So we're like, oh, the mummy's such a nice personality. It's so yeah, pretty. Oh my God, mix of both. When it came for time to choose the puppies, there were three puppies. There was one boy, somebody wanted the boy, and then there were two girls. So we got to choose between the two girls. There was one that was more calm, and there was one that was more bouncy and jumpy. And then what did Ines say? The bouncy one is cuter. It had like a shorter snout. Hence, Keiko. Tada. Tada. I, mean, I really feel like we should have gotten the calmer one. Now. now you feel we should have gotten the calmer one. A bit too late for that. <laughs> it's okay, Keiko. We still love you. Just be less bouncy, please. We were having to, of course, choose a name for the dog. So I asked Inez, I said, what does Keiko mean to you in this time? And then what did you say? When I was 11, to me, the dog meant happiness. Because like, oh my god, I have my own dog. Whoa! So... so we googled names that mean happiness. And then we found this name, Keiko, which means happy child in Japanese. Depending on which dog you choose, your dog could be 
a free adoption from a shelter or it could have been someone giving you a dog. In our case, we wanted a purebred. At the time, she was $3,500. Okay. In the initial part, like, she has to get like vaccination. That's another few hundred dollars. The dogs will need to be groomed. So she goes for a groom at least once every six weeks, like a full groom. Okay. That's that's about $85. In between, she usually goes for like a basic groom, about $40. So in a month, it'll be easily $100, $120. Food is probably every two months, we buy a massive packet for 100 bucks. Her, about half a cup, twice a day. You can have to sit first. Gekko, sit. sit. Needs to be trained up in self control. Sit. Yeah. And then there she goes, she's gobbling and all that. One time, she ate grapes. And then, and tell then them what she happened. started puking and puking. So my dad had to take her to the vet. They had to give her an like, injection because grapes are poisonous for dogs. And so they had to do a blood test as well to make sure that her blood wasn't affected. And the bill racked up to like $400. All kinds of sickness can happen to the dog. You need to have some kind of contingency budget set aside in case the dog gets sick or vomit. You have no idea what to happen. Keiko sits underneath the table wanting to eat our dinner. She waits for Leon to finish his food and gobbles up any spare shreds that fall. Oh my gosh, there she goes. Look at her. She's looking for the food and she found the rice on the floor. And she's done. And Leon is still eating rice messily. A lot of responsibility is involved. Cleaning her poop and pee. Brushing her teeth. First you close the door. You take out the brush and the toothpaste and the other thing. Okay, let's go. Here you go, come sit. I'm sorry if you go through this again. I do this every day, Keiko. You do this like once a week. Well, whose fault is that? Okay, Keiko, are you ready? Open up your mouth! Ah. Hey, she's quite obedient, eh? No, she's not. She's biting me. The toothpaste is enough, man. Can you relax? How's your hand feel? Terrible. I love the spray. Hey, go open your mouth. Ah! Um, now we spray to your inner regions. When we went to the vet store, they never told us about brushing a dog's teeth, right? Oh. Yes. Yeah, what did they say? They're like, oh, it's so cute. Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't cost a lot, you know, like puppy food doesn't cost that much money. No one tells you about the unglamorous side of brushing your dog's teeth. See, she's like kind of like sad in the toilet right now. She's looking at me like, oh, why are you doing this? Because you stink. The shine. She's trying to escape. Why? Ah, she's gonna get splashed. What do you mean? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> She looks without all her fur. She looks like a rat. Use the towel. And I take her out. And she's going to take her out. Stop it. Look at this ah! leg. Ah! Go lie down. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay, go down. Oh my gosh, you put her, your leg on her. She wanted to run away. <laughs> People have to handle a lot for it to go faster. This is the reality. Taking care of another being is very difficult. You wish you could walk yourself and bathe yourself and brush your own teeth. Stop it, la yo. Like that, you want a belly rub? You get a belly rub. No, Keiko, no, stay. You're not done. You look at you, you're so scraggly. <laughs> A cleaner now. You had your teeth brushed. You had a 
shower. Yay! Having a dog is like having another child. This child can never go to the toilet on their own. If the child decides to have an accident in the house, you are entirely responsible for soaking up all that pee, spraying it down with like some kind of enzyme spray so that the smell doesn't get left in your house. And it will never learn how to brush its own teeth. Unlike, you see, eventually they get to this stage, even like Leon, they get to the stage where they can brush their own teeth. A dog will never get there, I'm so sorry. I need to walk, huh? If I didn't have her, I wouldn't need to walk, huh? You would be very sedentary and sitting in your bed the whole day, playing with your phone. But I love sitting in my bed. <laughs> The dog is good if you want to get your kids a little bit more active. Leon loves to race Keiko. Usually Daddy has to run along. But sometimes what we do is that we get Keiko to run to me. So Leon and Keiko run to me and they race back and forth. Let's do a half race. Why half race? Full race ah. Huh? One, two, three, go! Go! I think that just having a dog kind of changes the atmosphere of the house like de-stress therapy by like rubbing her a little bit and then she like loves it she's like mm. she greets me when i come home keiko is a very people person dog it's nice to have a greeting from keiko when you come home sometimes she just wants to say hi so if you don't say hi she'll just follow you until you say hi she followed us to the room and she's like i want to say hi i want a hug too like i'm here giving mark a hug and she wants to be part of the hug too to you. He's mine! <laughs> He's mine! <laughs> look at her, look at her! Look at her! Look at her! <laughs> what are you doing? Do you remember this painting? Yes, look, it's so pretty. This is Keiko and this is the sun. The sun. This and is this the is the moon. moon. And I wrote that. And to Inez, Isaiah, Isaiah 27, verse 2. two. In that day, sing, sing about, about a fruitful, fruitful vineyard. Vine. I, the Lord, watch over it. I water it continually. I guard it day and night so that no one may harm it. 29 October 2017. That is literally four years ago. I thought that the dog was almost like going to be something that can watch over you and it's like a prophetic expression of God guarding you day and night and watching over you. The night after you gave me this painting, I had a nightmare. A <laughs> nightmare! And you're like, it's because I gave you this painting. <laughs> That's the story of this painting and the dog. Uh. You should get a dog because it can be a very good companion, especially when you're home alone. You also be more active and not sedentary lifestyle. It's good for like building responsibility as well, especially for young kids. And also to be honest with you, we also have had a helper to also help taking care of the dog, especially when we're all out at work at school. Recently, we also found that we have a couple of friends who love to take the dog. By one of our friends who stays nearby because we're going to be on vacation for two nights. So it really takes a community of people effort to make sure that she's well taken care of. If you don't have a helper, you don't have that kind of community, you don't have the time, and your kids are too young, like not even upper primary school, it'll be really, really difficult for you. I think we have to see the dog as part of the family. You can't see the dog as just like, oh, you can just throw it aside as in when you want to play with it or not. Every time we're going out, we're thinking about her, like where she's going to do, what she's going to eat. How long can she be alone without us? If you're willing to see that, absolutely consider getting a dog. There's a few different types of breeds. Um, we also wrote a blog post about it. We would love to see your comments about which kind of dog you think is the best for families too. So once again, I'm Sarah X Miracle. Your miracle mom with me is... Me! Yes. Ow, my head. We hope you like this video. If you want to watch more videos, please do click subscribe and also switch on the notification button. We're also on other social media channels like Instagram, TikTok, TikTok. Facebook. We'll hope to see you soon.